Welcome to this unboxing of Hard City. Hard City is a brand new game from Adam Kwapinski and Marek Razinski. This is published by Hexi Studio. We had the opportunity to make a Kickstarter preview video for, for this game. We really enjoyed it and now this is the final production copy that hits our table and we are very, very, very excited about it. This is a, a new game which sits heavily on the horror humor. Uh, this is a strange combination, but it's a horror humor miniatures game. It uses mechanisms of uh, action point and uh, dice rolling and players, mainly the um, the police officers will have different abilities and have different uh, variable player powers. Hard City is a miniature board game for 1-5 to five players, in which you take the role of one of the brave officers of the Hard City Police Department. You have to face off against the hordes of mutants controlled by evil Dr. Zero, a mad scientist who wants to take over the city today and then continue by taking over the world. He's lunative. Uh, lunatic essentially and you have to stop his tremendous plans for war domination. In order to get out of uh, this plan of his you have to work together with uh, your fellow police officers to rescue as many citizens as possible using your unique abilities of your characters to counterattack their bloodthirsty mutant attacks. Let's uh, crack the box open and see what we find inside. We have made a video on uh, how to play the preview version of the game, the prototype. We're going to make additional videos of the game, uh, some uh, 3D spinning miniatures and uh, possibly some uh, live gameplay miniatures down the road. So lots of things uh, will follow from, uh, from this video, additional material, so stay tuned. You have the opportunity to become a police officer and enter the rainy neon lit streets of Hard City to stop the evil mastermind Dr. Zero. He's a mad scientist who creates mutants. You have to shoot them down, rescue civilians, and also uh, be able to complete the mission scenario objectives. You will be given a whole arsenal of weapons and various items to help you withstand until reinforcements arrive, or if you choose so, you have the opportunity to become Dr. Zero yourself and send your minions to the streets of the cities of uh, Hard City, fight the officers and finally take control. So you have the unique ability to play it from the other side, if you wish so. So, this is the rulebook. Um, the rulebook is uh, very well written, it has in the first pages the components of the game so you get familiar with everything, what's what, and you get used to, to all the components. Uh, we have various boards, this is a modular board that system that uses also the game box as you will see to create a 3D elevated uh, floor which uh, looks really really cool. Uh, the tracks, the cards, the player boards for the different characters, the officer uh, player boards that is, this is the scenario and the episode uh, information. Very cool minis, among the best I have seen. Hexi Studio uh, is really, really competent and capable of producing high quality miniatures and this is a good example of that. Same goes for the mutants, the dice, the tokens, the cardboard, everything uh, is listed here. And we go into more details about um, the breakdown and the anatomy of the officers, what are they doing, their cards, how you use them, uh, how do you read the cards and how do you set up the game. This is how you set up one of uh, the episodes, and this is how the game would, should look like once on the table, ready to start. The game overview is this. Uh, first, uh, we have the session where the officers play, then uh, Dr. Zero counterattacks, and uh, this is repeating itself till the end of uh, the episode. We have the event phase, the action phase, the officer's turn, which are described briefly here, and then Dr. Zero's turn with all um, his plans and what he's unleashing on the players. You can see that this is the main um, way of uh, the game, the main gameplay of how you can enjoy Hard City and this is the solo and co-op mode where you can have additional game modes and this is one of the unique uh, plus of uh, the games. You have different ways to play the game and this is always welcome. You see here the um, history of each of the characters and the different setup for the different episodes. You're gonna get a different card for each episode. You can play them separately and play them again and again, but you can also play them a, a one after the other so that you can make a complete story if you want to enjoy the whole story of, um, of the game. You see how more complicated and more uh, um, busy the episodes become as you move closer to the end. Okay, so let's uh, dive in and see the rest of the components one by one. We have the episodes. 
so far whatever I have seen from um, the final production of uh, Hex Studio is uh, superb quality and this is no exception here are the different uh, linen finish episode cards they're big easy to read with all the information listed here a nice illustration and the numbered episode you can play them one by one here is the setup on the back very very useful this is a great quality cardstock don't be fooled uh, by uh, the fact that it's a card it's linen finish and very durable excellent uh, print excellent color and excellent uh, cardstock make up this component the second episode the setup again the special rules of the episode and you can see how you set it up here the third one I'm really impressed they have done really good work with um, all this information it's very easy to pick one read it read the story read the special rules and then set it up and start playing right away good quality a good way to have everything handy and easy to pass around if you want to check something throughout the game and you don't have to uh, sit heavily and focus on the rulebook itself if you wish a bunch of um, punch boards and player boards and the goodness of the minis and all the components inside so i'm going to start briefly um, let's do it the other way around i'm going to set up the board on the back on the back um, flat on the table so that we make um, an area to illustrate the remaining of the components we have three different boards that they are first of all double-sided and with unique art on each side they come together if you put them uh, according to the schematics of the episode and maybe you can also try things on your own but um, there are some specific ways to combine them and make a um, continuous picture there are many many different situations I like the darkish um, theme it is night it is raining as you can see and this is depicted very well on uh, on the game board let me see how it makes sense those two to be okay what I would do actually very easy I would select one of those and uh, read this is the deployment read which ones we should put together to make a nice looking board give me one sec so let's go to the first one where we're going to use 3A, 2A for this setup. Okay, so 2A should be on the back. No. 2A is this one. And we need 3A. Okay, there it is. We have it. Cool. So I'm putting this uh, one on the on the side because I'm just going to use those to make a continuous board it looks really really nice i like the color the, it looks like it's night it's raining and there is low visibility but yet there is a lot a lot of details and um, it looks like the city by night and it looks very nice cool now next we have lots of uh, different uh, materials here like uh, cars that we're going to positioning depending on uh, the setup or if we try our own different uh, configurations and they're going to be used as obstacles to make it difficult to move around we have various tokens like uh, gas leaks crates that our heroes need to go and pick up to get reinforcements uh, manholes like this hard city manhole which looks nice it can be closed or open uh, donuts of course this is a uh, the resource of the game we use donuts because we are officers police officers and what better resource to use than donuts there is a bit of stereotype here but uh, i think it's funny and i really like what they've done with this selection the cardstock by the way it's linen finish itself it's very good quality i need to punch out the center of the donut because then it would look like a donut indeed okay 
Next, we have uh, some additional overlays for uh, maybe a dock, if it is on the other side of the board, or an alley or something like that, to further customize all the, the board and all the setups. We have various citizens that we need to rescue and escort them. Uh, among the things that we can do to spend our actions is to pick up uh, citizens which are fr uh, frightened and panicked and frozen and escort them to safety. Barrels with toxic leak. We have our police. Some ammo. And then we have some switches that are used in different scenarios. And some indicators for the health. Okay, so. Uh, second and third punch board. I'm not going to unpunch everything. Maybe just the vehicles so that I can put them. Uh, this looks very nice. There's lots and lots of tokens and material to customize further donuts, further manholes, crates, and stuff like that. And additionally, we have cars or boats. There's, I like when companies use both sides of um, tiles and boards. To, this, is, this could be, a, you know, after an accident, laying on its back. This is our police vehicle. This is the, the vehicle with which we enter uh, the scene. Uh, there is a mutant carrying, being carried there on the back, on the bottom. So this enters um, the scene and our heroes uh, get out of the vehicle and start working on the scenario. We have a bigger vehicle, which is a school bus, which has help, <laughs> very cool, or a military or sorts of transportation truck which also looks good uh, some more tiles a helicopter tile usually it comes to rescue us at the end and we need to uh, be able to withstand till reinforcements arrive this is um, the truck where we keep track of the different uh, meters very nicely done excellent quality everything looks superb so, as you can see, I have been punching some of the punch boards there to show you how many tokens and components you get in your box. Let's see what we have also here. We have uh, the hero cards. Wow, again, linen finish, top quality. Uh, you're going to pick up one of those uh, if you want to be this, that, that or that hero and use the respective mini. Let me remember how they're called. Uh, Marsilius Hammer, yes, looks like Hammer. Uh, Miranda Casey, Jenny Takabura, and Donathan Johnson. So they have um, the stats, and this is the main board of each hero. Cool. Then we have some more cards. And then we have the foobar, the ugly one. <laughs> he is ugly indeed. Okay. And then the various ways um, to easily pick up how to play the game. One versus all from one side and solo and co-op from the other side. They've done a tremendous job to give one player aid double-sided for each player. Excellent. Excellent. Spotless. The production is spotless so far. We have uh, lots of baggies, some studies for some tokens, two deck of cards, three deck of cards, we have smaller equipment cards as well, the dice of the game, let's see, nice custom dice with uh, the results when you try to hit or attack, looks cool, yeah, and this is the majority of the minis, let me put them here so I can zoom in and show you up close how they look like. I suppose this should be somewhere here. Okay. Now, let's see the minis a bit closer. We have our heroes. Uh, these miniatures are going to be 3D spinned. They look very, very nice, very nice detail. They look exactly alike what is uh, illustrated on the hero card. Very unique, different postures. You can easily Tell them apart which is what, uh, who is with, who is who, and um, the scouts and postures are 
excellent. Again, we're going to make a 3D spinning video for this because it's they're gorgeous. Yeah, look at this posture. This is so energetic, so there is momentum and there is nice amount of detail. I really, really, really like those minis. Uh, we have the third hero with a machine gun. Looks very nice. The plastic is very nice. The material they used uh, for the minis is also very nice. They, it looks clean, uh, but it has a lot of uh, detail. So they have managed to put a lot of detail. This is going to show up better on the 3D spinning video. We have various mutants, as you can see. Dr. Zero is uh, trying to con get control of the city uh, with his minions, and his minions are mutants. Uh, the color is nice, you can easily distinguish them on the board. You can easily uh, say what's what. Different scalps. Yeah. Different uh, postures. Each of those is very nicely done. This looks like a gigantic mutated rat. Yeah, cool. And then we have all these two rows, one, two, three, four, all these, two, three, four, five, ten, ten of those are the same sculpt, then we have a bunch of those here, this is another ten, second sculpt, and we have also the rats. Uh, very, very nicely done, and this is, I think, the, the big bad uh, villain at the end, he looks, I mean, can you balance him? Yeah, he can, he's balanced very well because he has a huge, huge mutated hand. Looks cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, okay, I know my board doesn't look very nice, but I'm gonna try to put some of those on the board to show you how they would look like if they were in play. Uh, I like the fact that the, the game board is made out of grid and it is easily, um, uh, distinguished and you can easily see how you should move around. We can have our heroes here trying to fight, uh, trying to fight uh, the minions, and this is how the uh, minis look. Now, let's move to. Uh, I remind you that we also have another double-sided folded board that is used for additional uh, scenarios, episodes, and maps. Now, let's move to the cards. We have two decks of cards. These are big cards. And indeed, this is linen finish. Really, really a great quality. They have done tremendous... I'm going to put this big guy in the side because he's in the middle of everything. Uh, zero Corp. Okay. Let's open all the cards and see because they are different. Um, type of cards and I want to put them by category. A word on quality. Yeah, this is a large poker size Magic the Gathering card. Very nicely done. Big illustrations, big text, uh, um, the symbology and iconography is easily distinguished and uh, the art is tremendous. I really like the art and the fact that it's linen finish means extra durable and top-notch quality. Now let's put them by category. These are the Zero Corp. These are the Chaos cards, one versus all. Okay, putting them here. And then we have more. This is like a cinematic approach to the episodes. Looks very nice. Okay, put them here. And the remaining ones, this goes here as well. These are, oh, yeah, these are um, promos for their other games. Okay, these cards here are the event cards and you can see that it uses a very nice um, automatic way to uh, spawn things using the grid. Great, Putting to the side. Then we have uh, cards for a special episode uh, um, situations that have to do with the episode and they are numbered by the episode on top. So 
this have to do with each episode in specific. The majority of cards are those one versus all mode cards where you see this is same we have shown on the Kickstarter preview but we're going to make additional videos how these cards work. They have a very nice clean system, easily um, uh, followed that doesn't take a lot of time. You just makes you uh, makes the game work smoothly, clean and fast. And I really like what they have done with uh, the bottom of the cards depending on um, the type of uh, monsters. So these are the cards, great quality again. These are the Chaos cards for solo and co-op mode. These are different if you're using solo or co-op mode. They are different from the ones I just showed you. You can see them here. Clean cards, clean setup, nice illustration, everything looks nice. So use them for solo and co-op. And then we have those cards specifically for uh, cutscene cards and they give a cinematic feel like you're watching a movie from the 80s and uh, they have the fluff text and they describe what's happening based on, uh, on the cutscene. They look like part of a movie, they're using this uh, film border to indicate the cutscene. Looks very nice, uh, it's a big part of um, the mechanism of the game and how the game works. So I've showed you everything. Let me show you also these cards. We have the cards that they are unique for each hero, as you can see. For example, let's get Officer Johnson here. These are the cards for him, very unique. So every character and every hero has their advantages and special perks that you need to take advantage of. And then we have some additional cards here, which if I'm not mistaken, these are uh, cards for equipment. If I'm not wrong, these are skill cards. Yeah, this is, uh, these are called skill cards, the ones with um, the character portrait on the back. And then we have additional cards with equipment, like taser guns, medkit, Smoke grenades, launch grenade, grenade launcher, shields, etc. Everything is um, giving an ability and additional options and possibilities for the heroes to perform their tasks more efficiently. Okay, lots of equipment as well. Yeah, maybe we get them from the crates if I remember correctly. It's been a year since I made this Kickstarter preview video. Now, the last thing I want to show you is uh, I'm going to remove this insert. And I'm going to zoom out a bit now to show you um, how you can also use the back of the box as a 3D element. You see, um, it comes um, the back of the back of the box comes with um, um, a sheet where it is illustrated uh, what you would expect in the back of a game box. But when you take it out, you can put it inside the box. I have it next to me now. And then what's left is something which looks like. Let me show you here like a warehouse or a 3D uh, building that you put it on the side, you connect it to the main board and it acts exactly like one of, uh, let me show you here, uh, it extends for sure uh, the game board and it can act exactly, now I have to put it with perspective, uh, it has also grid on top where heroes and mutants can uh, go up and move and it gives so much as you can see, you can align it with um, the grid. I'm not doing a good job now, but it's something like that. Okay, it's a bit to the side. Let me put it a bit more so you can see. And um, this creates additional possibilities because uh, gameplay continues on, on the buildings and gives also a nice 3D element to the game because everything now looks so much nicer uh, with a 3D perspective. I really like how they have taken, um, how they took the 3D elements and really elevated this to a whole new level. Excellent job. This is what companies should be doing with their games. Amazing. Now, uh, before we close, I want to show you the Kickstarter uh, stretch goals, which are uh, included here. It's this. So let's see what we get inside. We have uh, a 3D police car 
this is a plastic 3D car to use instead of that. Looks very nice. It's, I'm sure it's going to look gorgeous when it's going to be painted. So let's put this here for the moment. Okay, maybe like. Yeah, it looks very nice, as you can see. And we have some additional minis, which were unlocked during Kickstarter. These look very nice as well. I think you could also buy the 3D scenery uh, pack where you can upgrade some of the tokens, crates, etc. with additional uh, 3D elements. And here we have the card for Aaron Kaufman, which is this guy here, a new hero. Looks like an undercover cop. And some additional cards where that were um, unlocked during the Kickstarter. Okay, these are the skill cards for the hero, the new hero, and the new cards for this new um, minis. That and that. This is Kate Jones, the reporter, and here we have Liam MacArthur as head of the police department. So, everything looks great. Tremendous job with uh, all the uh, details. The production quality is amazing. The miniatures are uh, really nice, uh, nice and chunky and clean and I like them. And everything is, uh, really deserves uh, two thumbs up because they have done tremendous job with uh, the production quality. And uh, I'm looking forward to get this on the table because I had a blast playing the prototype, but I'm sure now with the final production copy, it will be even more satisfying to play Hard City. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the era that the Hard City is uh, depicting has to do with the 80s and it is inspired heavily by all these B uh, class movies of uh, retro movies from uh, um, respective um, cinematic uh, approach. So very fun, very nice game, simple rules but with lots of options, lots of tactical things, looks like a dungeon crawler from another perspective uh, with a fun and unique system. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and we're going to come back soon with um, additional videos, how to play video and um, possibly some gameplay live sessions. Many thanks for watching.